वेलकम टू सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी डिस्कस दी फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन विच सेज अ कार्ड फ्रॉम अ पैक ऑफ 52 कार्ड्स इज लॉस्ट फ्रॉम द रिमेनिंग कार्ड्स ऑफ दी पैक टू कार्ड्स आर ड्रॉन एट रैंडम एंड आर फाउंड टू बी बोथ क्लब्स फाउंड दी प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ द लॉस्ट कार्ड बींग ऑफ क्लब्स बिफोर दैट लेट्स डिस्कस द कंडीशनल प्रॉबिलिटी एंड बेस थ्योरम फर्स्ट वी हैव the conditional probability of the event e given that s has occurred is given by number of events favorable to e intersection f upon the number of events favorable to the event f that is we have probability of that is the conditional probability of the event e given that f has already occurred is equal to probability of e intersection f upon the probability of f provided the probability of f is not equal to 0 next we have the bayes theorem according to which we have that if e1 e2 and so on up to en are n non empty events such that they are pairwise disjoint and also the sample space s is equal to e1 union e2 union so on union en and we have an event a the probability not equal to 0 then we say the probability of that is the conditional probability of the event ei given that event a has already occurred is equal to probability of the event ei into the condition probability of the event a given that event ei has already occurred upon summation probability of the event ej into probability of condition probability of the event a given that ej has already occurred and here this j goes from 1 to n and also we have i equal to 1 2 3 and so on up to n this is the key idea that we use for this question let's proceed with the solution now according to the question we have that we have a pack of 52 cards and one card is lost from this pack of 52 cards and from the remaining cards which are left two cards are drawn and they are found to be of clubs and we are supposed to find the probability of the lost card being of clubs first of all let us define some events consider event e1 such that the lost card is of hearts then e2 be the event such that the lost card is of spades e3 be the event such that the lost card is of clubs and e4 be the event that the lost card is of diamonds and we also define an event a which is the event of drawing clubs from the remaining cards 
Now since we have to find the probability of the lost card being of clubs, this means we need to find the conditional probability of the event E3 such that event A has already occurred. That is, we would find the probability that the lost card is of clubs given that two cards drawn from the remaining cards are of clubs. So we can find out this probability using the base theorem that is using this formula we can find out the probability of event E3 given that event A has already occurred would be equal to probability of event E3 into probability of event A given that event E3 has already occurred this upon probability of event E1 into probability of event A given that event has already occurred plus the probability of event E2 into probability of event A given that E2 has already occurred plus probability of event E3 into probability of event A given that E3 has already occurred plus the probability of event E4 into probability of event A given that E4 has already occurred. Now probability of event A given that E3 has already occurred is the probability of drawing two cards of clubs given that one lost card is of clubs. Now as we have 13 club cards and from 13 club cards we have lost one club card. So we are left with 12 club cards and from here we choose 2 cards. So we have 12 C2 upon 51 C2. Since from the pack of 52 cards one card is lost so we are left with 51 cards from which we choose 2 cards. In the same way we find out the probability of event A given that event has already occurred that is the probability of drawing two club cards given that when hard card is lost would be equal to 13 C2 since there are 13 hard cards and from those we choose two cards upon 51 C2 where 51 are the remaining cards when one card is lost and from there we choose two cards so this is the probability of event A given that event has already occurred next is the probability of event A given that event E2 has already occurred is the probability of drawing two club cards given that one spade card is lost as there are 13 spade cards and from there we choose two cards so 13 C2 upon 51 C2 then next we have probability of the event A given that event E4 has already occurred which is the probability of drawing two club cards given that the lost card is of diamonds would be equal to 13 C2 so there are 13 diamond cards upon 51 C2 now we find out the probability of event E1. E1 is the event that the lost card is of hearts. As there are 13 cards of hearts. So the probability of E1 is equal to 13 upon the total number of cards in the pack which is 52. Now 13. 4 times is 52 so this is equal to 1 upon 4. In the same way probability of E2 where E2 is the event that the lost card is of spades and as we know there are 13 cards of spades so 13 upon 52 becomes 1 upon 4 then the probability of the event E3 where this E3 is the event that the lost card is of clubs would be equal to 13 since so there are 13 clubs in the pack of cards so 13 upon 52 
gives us 1 upon 4 then probability of e4 would be equal to because e4 is the even that the loss card is of diamonds and there are 13 diamonds so 13 upon 52 gives us 1 upon 4 now we have to put the values in this formula with this the equation 1 so now substituting the values in equation 1 we get probability of the event E3 given that event A has already occurred is equal to probability of E3 which is 1 upon 4 into probability of event A given that E3 has already occurred is equal to 12C2 upon 51C2 so here we have 1 upon 4 into 12C2 upon 51C2 now this upon probability of the event E1 that is 1 upon 4 into the probability of the event A given that E1 has already occurred is 13C2 upon 51C2 so we write here 1 upon 4 into 13C2 upon 51C2 plus probability of E2 which is 1 upon 4 into probability of A given that E2 has already occurred which is 13C2 upon 51C2 so here we have 1 upon 4 into 13C2 upon 51C2 plus 1 upon 4 which is the probability of the event E3 into probability of event A given that E3 has already occurred which is 12C2 upon 51C2 so here we write 1 upon 4 into 12C2 upon 51C2 plus probability of E4 which is 1 upon 4 into probability of event A given that E4 has already occurred is 13C2 upon 51C2 so we write here 1 upon 4 into 13C2 upon 51C2 so this is equal to 12C2 upon 51C2 into 1 upon 4 upon 1 upon 4 into 1 upon 51C2 and this into 13C2 plus 13C2 plus 12C2 plus 13C2 the whole this 1 upon 4 cancels with 1 upon 4 51C2 cancels with 51C2 and so we are left with 12C2 upon 3 into 13C2 plus 12C2 now this would be equal to 12 factorial upon 2 factorial into 12 minus 2 that is 10 factorial now this upon 3 into 13 factorial upon 2 factorial into 13 minus 2 that is 11 factorial plus 12 factorial upon 2 factorial into 12 minus 2 which is 10 factorial then now this would be equal to 12 into 11 upon 1 into 2 upon 
थ्री इंटू थर्टीन इंटू ट्वेल्व अपॉन वन इंटू टू प्लस ट्वेल्व इंटू इलेवन अपॉन टू इंटू वन दैट इज वन इंटू टू वन इंटू टू वन इंटू टू कैंसल्स विद ईच अदर सो वी आर लेफ्ट विद ट्वेल्व इंटू इलेवन अपॉन थ्री इंटू थर्टीन इंटू ट्वेल्व प्लस ट्वेल्व इंटू इलेवन दिस इज फर्दर इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व इंटू इलेवन अपॉन ट्वेल्व इंटू थ्री इंटू थर्टीन प्लस इलेवन वी होल वी हैव दिस ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व कैंसल्स सो वी गेट दिस इज इक्वल टू इलेवन अपॉन थर्टी नाइन प्लस इलेवन विच इज इक्वल टू इलेवन अपॉन फिफ्टी This is the probability of the event E3 given that A has already occurred, and this is what we were supposed to find. So we have the probability of the lost card being of clubs. Is equal to eleven upon fifty, which is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.